Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to talk about filament tables and automatically scrolling to the top when pagination happens. Because by default it doesn't scroll to top. So if you have a table and you click page number two, it stays on the same position. And if you want to see the first records of that second page, you need to actually scroll up. And this comes from a question on the official filament discord from Bill here, who is basically asking about the same thing, how to automatically scroll to the top. I found the solution, actually googled it, I didn't know that myself. So quite often actually I go to discord and I don't immediately know the answer, so I kind of dive deeper into documentation, google and stuff like that. So in this video I want to show you exactly the journey. So maybe from that you would learn how to fix other problems or how to find the solutions or how to generally think about some situations. And then of course I will show the actual solution. So first I googled and one of the answers was Answer Overflow, which is an interesting website in itself that summarizes filament discord answers. So I visited that page but also noticed the date here, July of 2023 which is almost a year ago and which is before Filament 3 was released. But anyway, I have zoomed that in and a similar problem and the solution is to register render hook, hooking to scripts and with a string function of JavaScript, something like that, window scroll to. And then down below, I scrolled for more solutions and discussion. And also keep in mind, it's 280 days ago. So then I ended up on the answer of Patrick. So in the list page of your filament resource, you override the set page, adding the dispatch browser event, just the name of the event. And that event is then caught in the register render hook, which should be in the service provider. And then that name of the event, scroll to top, fires window scroll to. So cool, I tried it out. I thought it was a cool solution. But there were two problems here. Because of older versions of that solution, dispatch browser event doesn't exist anymore. So this is underlined in my PHP storm and it didn't actually work. It threw an error that that method doesn't exist. And then I remembered, or in your case, you may Google that, that Livewire 3, when it was released, renamed the method names. So it's not even a filament thing, it's a Livewire thing. Dispatch browser event and also method emit were both renamed into the same method called dispatch. It's just dispatch. So in the official upgrade guide of Livewire, there's event section telling you about that exact thing. So the solution here, the first kind of fix to the fix from the forum was to rename that to dispatch. And then another problem that I encountered related to the versions that this specific code didn't work because in filament three, they changed a few things, renamed a few things. So there's no filament anymore. And if you go to the official page of render hooks, there's filament view now. So that's one thing. And then also they recommend to use constants here like body start and other hooks available here. So in the case of this example, it should not be scripts and it should be scripts after the constant provided by the filament itself. And then after all those fixes, it started working. So I click on page one and I immediately go scrolled to the top automatically. So yeah, this is kind of my long journey explained how did I end up on that solution updated to Livewire and Filament 3. I hope it will give you some ideas on how to debug, how to trace, how to Google and stuff like that. And then after I came up with this solution, I thought to document it somewhere. So after, of course, I've posted it on Discord and helped the person, I thought that snippet should be somewhere. But it's not actually a blog post because it's kind of like 10 lines of code, but at the same time, it's not a big example. So we do have filament examples, our premium product with examples like CRM, CMS, LMS, and bigger projects. And then the idea hit me. So that filament examples that we started for bigger projects is actually okay for broader terms of small examples included. So I'm presenting to you, if you click browse all examples, new category, free snippets. So in addition to all those premium filament examples that you can purchase, now there's a new category with, for now, three snippets, including the one that we're talking about here on the right. 
So if we click here, we have image, we have a loom video. I've shot it here as a demo and then the same snippets briefly explained with links that also may be useful. So yeah, whenever I find something smaller on Discord or just in general somewhere, I guess I will put more snippets into filament example, kind of like a free version. Pretty sure that in the future, when you Google something, you will land on one of those snippets eventually. And of course, you can still purchase the full filament examples with one time purchase for now. Maybe we will change that in the future and you will get the source code for bigger projects as well. And also you support this channel by purchasing the premium product. So yeah, a longer video from kind of a short example, but I hope it's helpful for the future to navigate other filament issues. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.